Hi, I'm Brian Stelbrink with Caterpillar. We're just finishing up some preparations here at Con Expo, and I'd like to share with you some new things about our 315 Next Generation Excavator. Our new 315 is focused on more performance, versatility, standard technology, and lower overall operating costs. I guess I'll start with the performance of this machine. So the new 315 uh, runs a new C 3.6 engine, which we've increased the horsepower up to almost 110 horsepower. And what that means is we're driving a hydraulic system, which has more power, more capability, really faster overall cycle times, improved multifunction capability, a uh, very quick, nimble machine. Um, with that, we've also increased uh, drive power. So if you're climbing up slopes, working in soft underfoot conditions, increase swing power. So if you're holding trench walls, if you're backfilling with the machine, swinging uphill, a lot more swing power out of this machine. So really areas that we focused on, on enhancing further performance of this machine to do the maximum work on the job site. Another key area is also technology. So more standard technology in the new 315 hydraulic excavator. This machine is equipped with three main areas of technology standard out of the factory. The first is a 2D depth and slope grade system, allowing operators to very quickly get to grade with confidence and know where they're digging, minimizing and eliminating, in many cases, ground labor, uh, lowering the overall operating costs on the job. Uh, another a second key area is an onboard scale system. If you think of what these size machines are asked to do, it's often truck loading and often truck loading on machine on trucks that go down the road. So to have an onboard scale system that operator knows exactly what's going in that truck to hit a target payload to minimize the chance to, to eliminate the chance of overloading that truck, yet filling it right up to that target payload to minimize the number of trips that that truck needs to work. So, it's improving the overall efficiency on the job site through a grade system and through a payload system. And the third main block is we also have standard e-fence. And what e-fence is, it's a number of features within e-fence that allows that operator to set certain boundary conditions based on their work. Whether it's working alongside traffic and setting a swing stop, that operator can very quickly go in there turn on a swing right stop, for example, it prevents the front parts of that machine from going beyond that defined swing radius, which really helps enhance safety on the job. That's just one of the areas underneath the overall e-fence features. Another one is setting a ceiling limit. So if that operator is working inside of a building, inside a skeleton structure of a building, underneath an overpass, underneath power lines, they can very quickly go to a certain point beyond that they don't want to go and turn on the e-fence. And now they can go on about their work knowing that that machine is protected from going above a certain point. So really it's about an onboard scale system, CAT payload. It's about a grade system, 2D depth and slope, which can be upgraded to full 3D GPS as well. And then the e-fence allowing that operator to work very safely and set for certain boundary conditions. So that's the technology part about it. Uh, we've also been able to lower the operating costs. So lowering the operating costs for the contractor comes in terms of lower overall fuel consumption and also lowering the maintenance costs. Those combined allow lower operating costs for the end user. And it's a pretty significant changes in that to help lower those costs. From a maintenance standpoint, we're extending some maintenance intervals altogether. We're eliminating some intervals as well. So that adds up to some pretty significant maintenance cost savings as well as time. Because time is money also. It's not just about the cost of those components and able to lower the maintenance, but it's about the time that's no longer required to maintain some of those areas that have gone away. So those are really some key things from a performance standpoint, versatility, standard technology out of the factory, and lower overall operating costs on our new 315 compact radius excavator. Excels at working in very confined spaces with short tail swing on the back end of the machine and also increased lift capacity by um, having those front parts fold up in tighter, moves the center of gravity, extremely good lifting machine in a compact radius, which really complements where a lot of these machines work and what they're expected to do on the job day to day.